So things were getting wonky around camp. The axe grew legs, the machete grew legs. The flint just mysteriously disappeared like it was in a Harry Potter movie. And then Scott asked if there was water in the jerry can. And I said, I think there's some left. So picks it up, says to end any speculation and proceeds to drown the fire in five gallons of water. He definitely got a rise out of people as the steam was rising, so were people's tempers. I think Scott totally did it on purpose. I think he's definitely able to check himself and make decisions. It wasn't a hot-tempered thing. I think Scott was trying to stir the pot, trying to loosen things up and see where he could get people annoyed, who was flappable and who was not. And he definitely achieved that. The guys are definitely putting a bigger target on their back, but what I'm hoping will happen is that the people they suck in will become the targets because they are so obvious. You can see right through Scott, right through Jason, and you really can see right through Ty. I really hope that Julia has to, has to pay the price for this one because she had no problem hopping over to the boys, didn't slow down at all, and I saw right through her. She's not a spy for us. She wants to be at a better position in the pecking order. And there's no way a smart girl is going to look at the five of us and be Julia and think that she's one, two, or three. She's so dangerous because she holds all the cards. She has all the information and she goes back and forth and she's the messenger and she can say what our plans are and she can tell us what their plans are and she can throw a wrench in the whole thing at any moment without any warning.